what does it yeah. mean to come back to the memories of a uh, campus here? Well, it's great coming back. Uh, I love Xavier. Uh, I love the city of Cincinnati. It's my favorite place to live. We were here nine years. So it's great to come back. Tommy the Eyes took me under his wing many years ago, Tommy Eiser, and so good to see him doing so well. So uh, it's fun to come back. And I have to be neutral during a game. I can't say it's our ball. We're up six. I, I got shot at halftime, but uh, uh, it's always fun to come back. Talk to me just about the, the challenges yeah. Chris has had this year with things yeah. you know beyond his control in terms sure. of trying to deal with the shorthanded team. Yeah, very difficult. You lose somebody of the top players. The top four or five scorers from last year are gone, graduated, or transferred. So it's very difficult, and it's not automatic you're going to win because you have a Xavier uniform on. It's not automatic. So uh, he's done a marvelous job once again uh, with his team. He has a very talented young team, but uh, it's going to take some time. He's had some great wins, obviously, beating Butler, beating Temple. So uh, he's a tremendous coach and I really enjoyed coaching him for a couple of years, uh, many years ago. I mean, to that point, you've known him yeah. for 20, 22 yeah. years. He, right. he seems mm -hmm. to be the kind of guy that's as competitive as they come. Yeah. Back to when he was in the GCL, and he's not going to let these kids have any excuses at all for, you know, maybe kids leaving school. Exactly. You know, he's a tremendous competitor, very intelligent. When he was with us, when he transferred in from Evansville, he used to be a sit-out year playing with the second team. And the second team used to beat the first team more than should have, you know what I mean, because of him. He was like a coach. I used to get angry with him. Chris! Sit down, you take a rest, get a drink of water, you know, because he, but he always had a great feel for the game, a tremendous coach, uh, even a better person. So he's a, a great representative of Xavier and the city of Cincinnati. What kind of pressures are there on a guy like Samaje? From here, Winton Woods playing in his hometown. Yeah. Everybody's expecting the world of him. A lot of pressure. It's tough to be in your hometown. It's great, but it's also a lot of pressure. You always have uh, people looking at you, family, friends, and everything. So uh, he's not Superman. He's a tremendous young player. He's got a chance to be the newcomer of the year in the conference. I don't know if he'll make it, but he's, he's in the conversation at this early stage. So he's a great young player. Uh, I heard he's a tremendous competitor. Sometimes he puts a lot of pressure on himself, which can be good and can be bad. You know, So he'll grow, and uh, Chris was that way. Chris was a great competitor, and he put pressure on himself. So uh, Samaji, he'll battle. And he'll have a wonderful career and hopefully he stays healthy.